What is going on guys? So today we're going to be taking a look at the Lilygo T-Embed CC1101 Plus. Now the Plus gives us the NRF24 L01 module, which allows us to disrupt Bluetooth, analyze the 2.4 uh, gigahertz band as well through the Spectrum feature in Bruce. Uh, the device, just by looking at it, is identical to the previous one that I have right here. Okay, um, this one I just have the external antenna mods on there as well. But for this one, I think I'm actually just going to keep it as is. Uh, I don't really see a need to have the antennas on there, honestly. I don't use it as often as I would like. And with the antennas, it's really hard to like keep it in your pocket and take it with you. You'd always have to have it like in a bag and I don't always carry my bag. So, uh, but anyways, yeah, I think I'm going to keep this just as is we have, uh, at the top here, we have a speaker, we have the button for, uh, to put the device to sleep and also to go back on this side, we have the Wi-Fi antenna with the USB charging and flashing port. We have two JST ports there as well. And just underneath that, we have the SD card slot. We have the RFID NFC reader there with the uh, CC1101 sub gigahertz antenna right there. All right, and at the front of it, we have the encoder dial with R the eight RGB LEDs on there. So that all stayed the same. The encoder actually feels a lot better than the previous version and the button boot button as well. Uh, the screen is exactly the same, so there was no changes on that, um, as well as the IR, uh, those all stayed the same. All right. Now, let's go ahead and open this up, and I suggest you guys be super, super careful because there is a antenna that is attached to the battery door. Now, I'm not sure why they did that, but um, I almost ripped off the antenna, and I would have been pretty pretty upset about that so if you guys are watching this please su be super careful before just going ahead and opening it up uh, i'm sure some of you that's going to be the first thing you do and hopefully you didn't break it but if that's the case and you know i'm sorry but if you're seeing this before doing so or before getting your device be careful when opening up the door just a heads up uh, we have inside the nrf24 module right there with the antenna on the battery door uh, the battery is the 1300 milliamp hour battery that stayed the same. Uh, the board place or the button placements are all the same as well. The uh, battery placement, the connections and everything else has stayed the same. Uh, they just added a connection on the board for the NRF24. I haven't taken this apart yet, but um, that's the only thing. The PCB is the same. They just soldered the NRF24 um, board and everything like that to the pre-existing PCB. So I have Bruce installed and I'm messing around with the uh, the new NRF24 feature on here and the Spectrum Analyzer is, is really, really cool. You can see the noise that I have around me. It's really cool. Um, you can obviously do some other features as well. I won't go into that right now, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the device, um, I know right now the big issue is the tariffs and, and fees that are being at customs from, you know, if you live in the U.S., you're getting, you're getting hit hard. Small business is getting hit hard, too, uh, all around the world. So, um, anyways, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, please subscribe. Helps me out a lot. And uh, as always, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.